Guys, if you're a zero earned player, you need to watch this video in its entirety. And actually, I'm going to recommend something. I recommend that you take notes because oftentimes you're going to watch this entire video. You're going to take in, oh, that's cool. This is a good lesson. This is a really cool tip. And then you're going to remember nothing. So I really recommend write notes down, take in the information, but more importantly, retain it so that you can actually go ahead and apply it in the next tournament. So watch this video through, take notes, retain the information, and I hope you guys enjoy it. The match history tells a story. Usually I can figure out what the issue is right from there. Um, the fact that you got 470 in EU is already good enough. So that's, I'm, I'm happy with this placement, believe it or not. I don't know if you're you're used to higher or lower placements. Like, do you, is this a average or a good placement for you guys? Good, good. Uh, good, uh, okay. Good. Okay. Second place, 11 E limbs. Sixth place, four E limbs. 12th place is a mistake. Like, this is tough. <clears throat> this is this is what you don't want. This is this is a yeah. like if you let's let's actually consider we'll, we'll do the calculation. How many points is that? That's what we need to know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus two. That's twelve points for twenty-three minutes. So it's not that bad, but usually you get way more with with this sort of game. Yeah. So we need to figure out what the issue is here. This is this is one of the games where um you waste a lot of time for the points that you get. Same with this one. 11 minutes for 38 that's probably like a few points not even actually at zero at zero points all right <clears throat> uh this game as well and then this game as well your issue is nothing more than the fact that you threw too many games that's it so there's no, there's quite literally not i wouldn't say literally nothing but uh maybe there's opportunity in these games to like go for a top two right we, we really have to look into more detail to figure it out um uh, but i really feel like four games lost where you don't get that many points it, it is the issue i really do think so so we'll take a look we'll, we'll look at them i don't think we need to watch this game yes you might have won but that's such a minor improvement that's like three four points difference uh and so we'll look at sixth and then onwards okay so i'm curious if so if this game is a situation where one of you guys die early be really good for i actually would be excited because what that means is uh you only have one issue which is someone dies before moving so if you just fix that issue suddenly you have three games fixed instantly it's a good thing so i'm hoping it's the same mistake because the worst thing that could happen to you is uh you run into six different mistakes in a tournament that means you have six mistakes to fix but if, if you die to the same thing multiple times then it's lucky easy to fix so right now you guys are fine it's only for its own though, so. Okay, so this game you make it to moving. So this is different. And you guys are actually pretty stuck, so I like it. Yeah, this game is looking forward. Okay, skip to half half. My biggest worry, and uh, looking at the mini map, I know it's not an uh, an issue, but we don't know that. Is someone following your your map? Why am I? Yeah. Yeah. No? It doesn't end up happening, right? But it's scary. So I actually would not wait here. You could try this for like two seconds, and then as soon as it stops working, you just go. Right? Mm -hmm. Because this is a very common path. People rotating into half up. They're gonna follow you, and and you might if they land on top of your head here, it's over. So. After this attempt, we just need to go. Just ignore him and leave. Him. Yeah, just you guys wait here way too long. So think about it this way. Rotates in general, especially um, half F rotate, especially half F rotate. Because half F rotate, so let me show you this. So let's say I have, um, let's say I have this, let's say this is third zone and then fourth zone shows here. Okay, just as an example. Okay. People are gonna come in from all directions, meaning it's not concentrated. Okay, so like they, they can rotate it in from every direction. However, the problem with half half. So let's say for a second, this is fourth zone. Uh, and then half half shows here. Half half, everyone's coming from a single direction or not single direction, but like the same kind of direction. Right, which means it's kind of like a, a tsunami. So if you if you rotate halfway and then pause, everyone behind you is going to it's like a traffic jam, a car crash. Like it's bad. They're going to run into you. 
right and it's really likely that they run into you so this this situation even though i know it's not a problem because of the minimap but minimap's kind of cheating uh I'm, it makes me nervous like if, if i didn't have the minimap i would be very scared so you guys should have left that much earlier you could try it but the, the attempt should take five seconds maximum it should be quick okay it didn't work move on this is good I'm glad you're using brick by the way because brick refarm is much stronger than wood refarm in this season or in this chapter in general and you guys in general just don't have a lot of wood so. yeah this is fine so you're you're not in the best situation uh which is the fact that um your mats are not amazing so that that, that stems from uh overbuilding or or using a lot of mats throughout the game because I noticed in ha in fourth zone, you didn't have the mess pass either. So I don't think it's just this rotate the problem. It's, it's multiple rotates that contribute to the problem. But some, some games, honestly, you don't have a choice. Like, I'd rather yeah, spend yeah. mats and be live than uh, save mats and die. So um, I'm, I'm happy that you guys are building because a lot of uh, newer players or amateur players or people that are like even intermediate, they, they, they underbuild, right? So the best solution is overbuild and learn how to get impacts. That's better. Yeah. So I'm, I'm actually happy you're at this stage because a lot of people underbuild because they don't know how to get kills and so they, they just die sometimes unnecessarily This is good He makes following okay, so I see so I see an issue. What, what am I what am I uh, hesitating about you guys see it or no? Yes, yes So let's talk about why He's popping a mini. I just, I just heard the second mini. He's healing right now. He's popping a big and then we should wait we need to wait until he finishes. So I don't know what the yeah. comms are like. So I'm not necessarily saying it's Lilinox's fault. I think it's both of you guys' fault. Okay. Yeah. I think so. you guys have to coordinate in order to figure out when you should leave. Right. And usually as an IGL, what I do is this. This is what the conversation looks like. I'm about to rotate. Are you ready? And I do not leave. I do not edit yeah. until I hear the yes. Right? And then you know what I do after that? And I'm not joking. This is what I do. And I, I've heard some pros do it. Some pros don't do it. But I, some pros don't need to do it. That's why they don't do it. But some pros, um, what they do is uh, they do three, two, one. I'm going. Right? And so the, yeah. it mentally prepares your teammate to press W. So he can look. And even, so let's say I'm the camera. Let's say I'm, uh, Reuter is the camera. Let's say he's like right here. Even this could be better. Right? You, sh you should quite literally be running together. Like so almost side by side. If I, like that's the most ideal situation, okay. But you know, if he's like right here, that's fine. This is pretty close. This is good enough, okay. But this is way too split because let's say I'm in a box like somewhere up here, and I'm staring at you guys. I just see one person going. So what does that mean? I know the second guy's coming. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take yo teammate. Look here, the guy's coming. And then as soon as he shows, he's dead. Yeah. yeah. So, but if you guys are close together, I can't react to that. I can't set up the the double spray with my teammate. That's the idea. Because you guys are so split, it gives more reaction time uh, window to other people. And it becomes easier to lose HP. It's a perfect example. Because if you guys are actually together here, I don't think you lose either as much HP or HP at all. And the reason why this is significant, even if you have heals, is because in order to heal, you have to you have to spend mats. You have to, you have to build a base. And, and, and also, you just lose heals in general unnecessarily. That you could have saved. So it's really, really important that you don't lose HP. On your rotates so yeah this is what i recommend okay the conversation just to just to reiterate are you ready yes okay three two one i'm going okay that's what i do yeah. quite literally every single time and when i the first time i did that my teammates specifically told me that it was a good thing and i should continue doing it because it became very easy for them to stick with me Okay, here we go. So what, what, what are you thinking at this point based on your situation? What do you need to do? What is your win condition in this game? Uh, why? What, why is grapple your win condition? Okay, I, I don't agree. I don't think so. What do you need before uh, like third moving, let's say? So here's a question. Can you get to third moving? Probably, Probably not. Yeah, if we get a refresh. If you get a refresh, yeah, I'm talking about with your current current loot. I don't no, think no. so. Yeah, Never. not at all. Because the mats are not. Yes, your mats are horrible. Exactly, mats are really really bad. You so my, your win condition is you desperately need a kill, and a significant mm -hmm. one. Like you need a kill that gives you mats. That's what you need.
And so the reason why it's important to identify your win condition before you start playing moving zones is because if you don't know what your win condition is, you'll just calmly tarp without looking for a single thing. And that in this situation, that's my guess. I think that's what's going to happen. But if you know what your win condition is, then both of you guys will be focused on trying to like spray this guy down, for example, right? And you start uh -huh. working on it. Maybe you'll pickaxe the floor, claim, edit three squares, and then double spray. That's probably what you should do. And you should pre-claim this box underneath. He falls in, you get a kill, and there you go. And let's just quickly see how many mats he has. He has 56 plus 15 because of siphon. That gives you 70 builds for free. If this works. But it'll only work if you actually attempt it. Or at least it would only have a chance of working if you actually attempt it. So the problem is, my guess is that we'll go a, li we'll go a little bit until without getting killed. And... Uh, you know, we'll be very low match, but I think you should start looking for kills much earlier. This is good. You're looking for a kill here. Good. Good. It's very open here. That's the only issue I'm worried about. Is we stopped harping altogether. So just because you didn't get sprayed or hit doesn't mean it's correct. So just watch out for that. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is a this is a mess. This is very scary. So here's what happened. You guys got a kill. Uh, I'm gonna be extremely honest. It was lucky. And I, you guys can let me know if you disagree. Like if you think it's not lucky, let me know because I I, I personally think it was lucky, which is fine. Okay, because sometimes lucky stuff happens and we, and we should take advantage of it. But the problem is, if you run this game back ten times, eight out of the ten games you will not get a refresh. Why? Because you guys aren't looking for one. Does that make sense? You're not actively yeah, looking yeah. for one. So if you guys watch a pro or like even EU pros or whatever, I mostly watch NA East pros because I'm from NA East, but uh, I end up like like watching them more often. Uh, but essentially what when, when they're in this situation, they end up like looking for kills on like four different teams by now, right? They they, they attempt it. So like, let's say let's say that previous example, let's let's go back to that previous example where I, where I pointed out, where I, I saw that team and I wanted to, to spray them down. Okay, so let's go back there. Here. Oh. All of this is fine. Okay, back here. Let's say I, let's say we attempt to spray them down. Okay, let's say it doesn't work. That's okay because we still have mats to try like three more times. Okay, but if we use all their mats without trying once, we will never find the impact unless it literally comes to us by accident. And we don't want that because we want to be the type of team who actively knows how to go for an impact. And usually, in my personal opinion, it's 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 through the method of awareness checking, which basically means attempt something. And if it doesn't work first try, try someone else, like go for a different uh -huh. team. Because essentially, like the problem with going for the same team like four different times is on the second, third and fourth attempt, they know what you're trying to do. So then it's not worth it anymore because they're going to be ready. On the first attempt, that's where you have the element of surprise and they might fall for it. And that's what you want to do. But in, in this specific case, I don't think we should... Uh, if, so yeah, you realize it wasn't working and we, we continue. The problem here is you, if I just stare at you for a little bit with... Uh, not height, because height's distracted, so they're not going to look at you. But someone else. Maybe there's a tarp here. So, just quickly look how it exposed you guys. Are. Even this team, if, let's say this guy doesn't get sprayed down. Luckily, he did because now he's distracted. He pumps you guys in the back. Game's over. This is very, very scary what you guys are doing here. So we need to tarp. Uh -huh. The problem is you don't have master tarp. So I understand why you're hesitating, right? You, you're very scared to use builds because you don't have a lot, which is why it was so important to go for this attempt back here, right? We need it. We need you, like the, the, the low mat situation must be solved much earlier than this point in the game. It has to be. Because right now you guys are really low on mats and it's getting scary. Essentially, the point is you don't want to wait until the last moment because let's say you have three builds each. Okay. And then you go for that impact where you're trying to like drop someone down. Let's say he's aware. What do you do then? It's over because you don't have time to go for a second impact. Like cause just like now, now that last attempt that you did didn't work and, and now you don't have a uh, match. So it becomes very scary. What's really important is as soon as you realize what your win condition is, is you start going for impacts then. Okay, we need an impact. We, we're not going to get into third or fourth moving before uh, we get an impact because we just don't have the mats to do so. Okay, therefore, you should go for it. That's how you should think about it. Okay, let's continue watching the game because we do get this kill, which is fine. Let's see how many mats. He has a lot of mats. Okay, thank God. Kill him. 
flashes harp. Yep. One small note that I'll make is uh, it, it's hard to get impacts with a stair tarp. And I also do not recommend stair tarping uh, when there's a team right here. So if there's a team to your bottom diagonals, you don't stair tarp. Or at least you try not yeah. to. Um, and the reason is, is because if he sprays your floor, you can't double layer it. Like you can't place a cone because of the stair. So it's really awkward. He can, he can phase you down. It's very uh, scary. So um, don't, I mean, I think in this case, it's okay because you're fast tarping, meaning you're full sprinting while tarping. And so most likely he will not catch you fast enough. But let's say you're all the way at the front of zone and you're still tarping, that's when it's scary because you're, you're gonna have to stand on the same floor for multiple seconds. But right here, it's okay. Right here, it's starting to get scary. I would full tarp. Good, perfect. Yeah, so this, this is good. Glad you ended up. So it holds, it holds max. What should you do in this situation? It's very obvious to me. Where? Sorry? We'll go front. Yep, yep, exactly. You can grapple there because you both have double grapple. So yeah, you, you do need to go low ground front. And I, I would I would not play this game in a situation where um you 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 grapple box. And the reason I wouldn't is because you don't you still don't have enough mats to to get top two um with grapple box. So you still need another kill because you have you have 50 builds each. Okay. So in my personal opinion, I just say grapple forward, land low ground, claim low ground. The reason I know low ground is free, even though I don't like let's say I'm in your box, I can't see everything. Like I can't go drone free and see the map. Why do I know low ground's free without looking? Because it's dead side. Yes, exactly. Good, 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 good. Zone pulled dead side, right? Which means front side is low. You don't even have to look. So just grapple immediately. So you're reloading, waiting for him to reload. The problem with this delay is because if zone has shown for a long time, low ground is gone by now, right? Yeah. yeah I can so that's why it's important to instantly go as soon as it shows, right? So we'll go back very quickly. I know you guys understand the point, but I'll show you exactly the moment that we should react. I think it's, I genuinely think it's more important than reloading an odd. Right now, you need to go. Edit, go. Right, the problem is we waited too long and someone else has taken it. The reason why I'm confident that you guys will get it is because you have grapple. Like, so most people, what they will do in this situation is they'll edit down and run to the spot. But because you have grapple, you'll beat them. As long as you react fast enough. At yeah. this point, because low ground is gone, I would now change your game plan into grapple boxing, even though it's not ideal. You grab a box and you still need an impact. That's what I would do. Yes, your game plan. Could follow this tarp. It's not bad. I would actually, I would actually potentially do it because again, one condition, you need an impact. You, may, you might not need it now, but opportunities like this could be good. Good try. Waiting for your grapple. Okay, uh, the pattern that I'm seeing in general across all your games, okay, this is not just a, this game thing, is that you guys need to realize that smacking on a wall is not scary as long as you know when to stop. Like going for a kill, it doesn't mean you're jumping in their box. You're just you're just aggressing their wall. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you can stop if you know if you feel like they noticed. Right. But you should you should attempt things more often. You should do what awareness checking is. You should awareness check other people yeah. more often, right? So this tarp that I saw is a good a good op opportunity because as soon as you as soon as they notice, let me go back because this is actually really important because this will teach you like a life lesson about moving zones in general. If you go into that tarp and they notice you, all you have to do is place a single wall, breakout ray, and grapple, and you're good. Yeah. yeah. Right. But yeah. let's say they don't notice you. Let's say there's a universe where they don't notice you. Now you have two kills. And now you have god mats, which means now you can just grapple box the rest of the game and you, you've won the game. You're good. You don't need anything else. That's why it's really, really important to recognize what your win condition is and play that way. Okay, that's uh, unfortunately I didn't go back far back enough, I don't think. Right? Yeah, I don't think I did. Regardless, this tarp, this is what I was talking about. You saw it earlier. Yeah. This is what you should have followed, in my personal opinion, because I don't think it's that risky. And yes, I know you guys are back stone, but again, I don't think it's that risky because as soon as they realize, you just place wall and break other side. Very happy with this. Very, very happy with this. Because again, like I said, if it doesn't work, just place a single wall. And it doesn't work, meaning they notice before you actually saw anyone. And then you just you just continue uh grapple grappling after. This is scary. 
Nice. Don't, you still need a kill at this point. Did you not kill? Okay, we will. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you'll get a kill, like an impact, and then they don't give you that many kills. It's very normal. Okay, keep going. I'm glad you didn't go for that. It goes again, dead side. Another opportunity to potentially take a look on. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I yeah. just, I don't need to look. I just know. So that's why it's super important because a lot of people don't do that a lot you know what a lot of people do is they they end up looking they're like oh it pulled can we take logan i'm gonna look okay it's it's clear i'm gonna go now that takes forever but if you guys are smart enough to realize that hey i can just take it now then you should because the mats that you have is good enough to claim i honestly think if linox had 10 builds that you still take it because you'll get the impact on logan it's so guaranteed Maybe you can still take it if you recognize me, so that's your choice. Oh. Oh, I got one. Okay. You don't get hit that hard. Oh, Raider dies. Okay, so let's go back. <clears throat> I think he ends up sliding too far. Is that what happened? No, no, no. 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 Best, best I guess. We try uh, as a little Oh, it, of course the replay. <laughs> Chris, the replay completely skips it. I, I mean, I think part of the issue, honestly, and I actually think this is the issue, is uh, he needs to block himself when he grapples so that he doesn't slide down. Because part of the reason why you were why you were fought is because you are not in a good position. So, like, if you end up uh, boxing or placing a wall to stop your, your, your slide, then you'll be in a position where you can just make one box and chill and then regroup with Linux. Essentially, every time you make a grapple rotate, this is the order of operations, okay? You box, okay? You don't even look for teammate first. A lot of people get killed because of that, right? You box so that you have the, the luxury, you have the, the, you're able to relax, you're able to chill so that you can actually find your teammate. The people that end up uh, uh, grappling and then let's say they don't know where the teammate is, without boxing, they just keep looking for their teammate. Well, now you're just running out in the open for like five, 10 seconds. That's all it takes for you to die. So you should box, look for teammate, I found teammate, then go to them. That's what you do. It's okay if it takes a little bit longer because that's, sometimes that's necessary. We need to take our time. But overall, like, it's actually a pretty good game, right? And I think it's because of the fact that, you know, and I, I like, you, you did go for impact. You followed a type, you, go, you went for impact. What I'm suggesting is you need to push harder in that front. You need to, you need to go for more. Because the, the one impact that got you 70 builds or whatever was very lucky. And in an alternate universe, if you want to be consistent, you can't play like that. You need to go for yeah. kills proactively. You need to create the opportunities yourself. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Not bad. Really good. Okay, a little bit unfortunate because what I would suggest in this situation. Was good. Was good. Yeah, like look look how many look how much men missed you. Okay, no, that's that's bug, that's bug, sorry. <laughs> that's bug. So you have way less. But you have double flop. So I will not start running yet. You have way more time than you think. And this guy just chilled. Like I don't know why what he's doing. But he's the one. But yeah, I would I would stick back a little bit further. Like uh, even Height can decide to see you if they wanted to, maybe. But like I would just wait a little bit longer, that's all. Yeah, the one guy in Storm is a little bit unfortunate. So do you have a uh, visual audio on? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if you're paying attention to that specifically, you'll see essentially most footsteps being in front of you and then in your back left, you'll see one footstep. And so that should that should uh -huh. spook you up because it couldn't have been height because height should be also in front of you usually because they're not tanking. Uh, and so that one footstep should scare you. You'll see it at some point. Uh, yeah, like right here, it, it should scare the fuck out of you. So you should have noticed this guy is my point. And if you did, you maybe you fight him and you win. Maybe you win. I don't know. It really depends on your shot. But yeah, a lot of lessons there in that game. Uh, it's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. We'll go back, but take a look. Let me if you see your name again. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. We found our first problem. So, I I usually. Usually when I say uh, four games are, are bad, that's not the only issue, okay? Because sometimes your sixth places or your 10th places or whatever, like the games that are decent where you get 15 points or so, uh, could totally be top twos, totally. And top two is what you want. 
because that's where you should be satisfied anything below that you should you should fi find out okay what's the issue because honestly you should give yourself leeway to mess up games does that make sense like if you have four messed up games sometimes you can still qual with four messed up games if all your other games are insane because sometimes that's mm -hmm. how pros qual pros will have you know really bad games and then have really 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 good games and then call from that so that that's another option so i think this is your your part of the issue i do you probably do solo clutch uh up to six but if you if you guys had both of you guys alive then you know that's that, that could be a thing so let's talk about what what was like how did you guys die we got to figure that out yeah at this point raider is alive skip to your mats are decent Shield mismatch is something to fix. You probably do fix that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, go back. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Someone sneaks up on you. I was gonna say you're. Oh, I, yeah. I, 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 I think the guy lost. lost. And then I thought they wouldn't push up. Mm -hmm. but, they, they, but they did. Yeah, you guys are not that high up, so you can't be sitting out like this. Like I'll, I'll show you. Okay, so where are they? They're over here somewhere, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys are not that high, right? So they could quite literally place two ramps and get up to you, and then pump, right? No problem. So if you guys are like up here where my camera is, then sure you could, you could be a little bit like more careless. But here, this is way too scary. He, he, uh, yeah, I, I, I would respect this more for sure. That's the issue. And obviously, Linux is just gonna. Be... Maybe you could play, yeah. Yeah, right, go low. Yeah, so it stems from that. So let's see. So here, here's the thing, right? If you want to solve this problem very specifically, okay? Like what I mean is like, what could you specifically do to not run into this issue again? You guys have two people in a duo, correct? So one of you guys needs okay. to be constantly staring the other way. So first, first thing is, the only way you actually respect them is you, you should be scared of them. You should be scared of something like this happening. So you should, you should, your instinct should tell you, okay, we're we're not really that safe right now. That's the first thing. Because if you if you feel unsafe, then you'll start being more careful. Okay. Uh, and what I the reason why in this case, let's say I, I was in your game instead, the reason why I would feel unsafe is because you're not that high up. So someone could easily ramp up. Right. So like these guys could easily ramp up and, and do something. So that's the first thing. The second thing is. Um, uh, when when you when you guys are are up here, maybe you, like I don't I don't even think you should go up more. All you need to do is have one person dedicated looking this way, or anyone else. Like I don't know if there there are more people. Just look this way, right? Just look at the the threat, and the other person who usually would be the IGL can focus on the rotate. Both of you guys do not need to be looking this way because then you have a blind spot behind you. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. Just, just just literally assign one person to stare in the direction of the threat, and then you're good. Just watch your flank. Okay. Okay. I don't think we need to watch the solo clutch because the only reason you guys have six is because you had the solo clutch. So yeah, if you yeah. guys uh, fix this issue uh, and, and not lose a person, then you're good. W do you guys feel like your positioning was the issue or the aim was the issue? I don't really know anymore. Like, uh, I mean, we, we can find out ourselves in other games if you just search in those games as well. But Probably aim. Actually, okay. Yeah, so if, if that's the case, then... Uh, I think the Raider or, or, has an AR map, so you should practice yeah, that. Yeah. Or maybe, or maybe spotting, spotting people. Yeah, you, like, so you like, feel like your positioning was fine. Like, obviously, it's not like I'm not. I'm not saying you're claiming that it's like number one, like it's the best, but it doesn't seem to be the, the limiting factor. It doesn't seem to be like the reason why um, you're missing out on. Think, think like, so, yeah. Yeah. So I, I I think that was the case as well. Like at least in that zone, your position was really good. Like you, you could see a lot. So seems like that wasn't the issue. Where are you guys? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go here. I 
probably died in that drop. I don't think Surge shows in replay. Maybe there's no We had a search, we had a search. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was quite unlucky, I guess, because I jumped and they. No, no, it's not unlucky. It's not unlucky. So, I mean, I mean, I, I see what you mean, but side jumping is always a risk. Always, always, always. Because essentially, what you're doing is you're 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 going into a new layer blind, right? Mm -hmm. And I so I actually had this issue myself when I was playing like back in the day, uh, and I remember I literally quite I remember the first time I died to a side jump, and I realized immediately right after that that side jumps are not encouraged. You should not side jump. You should just stay on your layer. Once you own your layer, like once you place a couple of bills, you can look up, check, then go. So like side jumping okay. is the equivalent of changing a lane without checking your blind spot. It's it's quite literally the same thing. Okay. Right? So like imagine someone's above you on the layer and then you just jump up. Like oh, of course you might get pumped. Mm. And you know some games, some games you won't get pumped, but that doesn't mean it's right. Yeah. yeah. Right? We're just rolling a dice for no reason. We're putting ourselves in right. So that's why I think it's not unlucky. That's why I really think it's uh, something to be fixed. Uh, and uh. When I when I PG for example, I love side jumps. So it actually took me a while to take that out of my my habits. Cause I knew it, it was something, especially because it's hard for a teammate to follow as well. Not easy yeah. for a teammate to follow a side jump, or not even a side jump in this case. But you just hopped up a layer, yeah. I'm gonna double check one more time. Yeah, yeah, it was a side jump. It was like, a... and then the guy up top too, but it was a safety. But yeah. Just a rift to blind, blind for legal for it. Uh, did you watch this? No, this, it's very obvious to me that that was the reason that we get 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yes, there's multiple reasons, but the mistakes are usually in layers. So if you fix the first one, then you'll never have to solo clutch in the first place. So then that's why mm -hmm. the, the first one is the most important. Mm -hmm. Okay, next game. I think this is the 38. Yeah. yeah. I can expand it real quick. We didn't have much loot, so we wanted to kill someone for loot. In this game, you say? Had, yeah, yeah. yeah. Had, had enough, enough games, so we just double killed someone. We didn't want to uh, waste time. Yeah. yeah. I'll let you know if it's justified. So, are you saying in this specific game you didn't have enough loot? Like you didn't like the loot that you had? Yeah. 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 What is your loot path? Is it you? You guys land here, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you're saying you looted all of this, and this is the loot you had? Yeah. 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 It's pretty unlucky, actually. And, and uh, the team, team on top, top right now. Yeah, we didn't know somebody was on top because yeah. they didn't land yeah. there. Yeah. Getting getting in here. So. Okay. In this case, I agree with the push. Like whatever team you push. I mean, we'll see. Because. Okay. We didn't want to push this team because of this. Yeah, yeah, this team, this team is obviously wrong. For sure, I agree. Uh, so there's two things that we have to consider. The first thing is, should you push a team? Like, should you look for a push? At that point, I agree with. Now we have to talk about whether I agree with pushing the team that you did end up pushing. Maybe you could have fought a different team. Okay, so let's see that. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. but I do agree that you need to take a fight or find some empty loot path that could fix your situation because your situation is not good. Especially now. We wanted to uh, do it as soon as possible, though. Yeah. This team... They ran away, they ran away. I, I, I agree with this. So, okay, let me put it this way. The situation you're in is really bad. And yes, you, you didn't want to waste time, so I don't actually care if you die here. Because you can just queue again, so it's fine. So this is your best bet, I actually agree with this. Like, if you die here, it's not a throw whatsoever. Yeah, I think that is. Okay, so if you want to know how to win this fight, let's, let's watch one more time. I just saw the whole thing in 4x, so let me go down there. Okay, who's winning so far? At the moment, I guess we because we are, uh, have an advantage because we cracked them and I'm Yeah, well, but what, what about Reuters HP? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. The, the question is, did he take this damage AM. just now or earlier? I think it was earlier. Uh, uh, earlier. Okay. So yeah, exactly. So this is the thing you have to keep track of because it's not, It's in my opinion, it's even. 
because of the like Reuters hundred, and then you, he also got cracked. So like it's pretty even. <laughs> you, you guys are slightly above in HP, but it's so minimal. It's such a small, small difference. So that I, I would say you're even. However, you guys are motivated to push because you don't have heals, and so if you don't want them to heal, right? Yeah. 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 Maybe Reuter can throw a keg down and just so I think that's what he should do is just keep it a distance throw the keg down and just spam AR and help Linux that way So you're still helping while healing He's adding some pressure and Linux very slowly takes this fight Yeah, yeah, so you I mean you won the trade but now you guys are equal HP I mean to consider so He's healing right now Nice Yeah, I like this. If you can get, if you can, if you can survive until the medkit gets off, I'm sure Lenar's calm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Then, then it's actually decent. Overall, it's tough because this, this, this is exactly the problem that you were telling me, which is uh, you do damage and they do damage back, so nothing happens. Yeah. yeah. So do you believe okay i'm seeing a lot of mistakes so several things let me go even deeper in terms of micro okay so i can tell you very specifically what's going on so the problem is exactly what i said before the problem is you're doing damage but you're taking damage back so nothing ends up happening but if you end up doing damage without taking damage then you then you'll start to start like, winning the fight okay so going so that was a risk he could have shot i don't know why he didn't yeah, yeah. So several things you need to very concretely like pick up pick a floor and and go for it okay so if you want to go for this you need, this is not a safe angle why because they can yeah. edit wall edit wall and then shoot you so this is the problem so what i would do is find a nice right hand so place a wall here where you're looking edit this and then claim this floor and start working on this right hand like where you're sitting on this piece right here and you're working around the right right because right now there's no right hand peak at all and so this is scary so i would just ignore this piece and work on the right and just fully claim this that forces especially and i'm talking the cone too that forces him to get out of this box and move into this one and so then you have two options you can start you can continue working on this side and take this wall and then work on like uh, the right hand here or then you can come back to this floor because he's forced into this box then he doesn't have a nice right hand right now because right now this angle right here for him is really good Right, it's a nice right hand on him. Yeah. yeah. So that's what you don't want. And I'm not saying they're playing it right either. Like they're playing it pretty bad because like he doesn't he's not fully abusing the right hand here. Right? But we don't need to give them uh, like advantages. So someone needs to be working on this floor. Absolutely. This needs to be gone already. Uh, right? Yeah. So give yourself the right angles. That's what I that's what I would say. So yeah, this is good. So uh, the only reason you took damage there is because you double swung on the on the thing. So yeah, yeah. I actually think double swinging is fine, but mentally you were not ready for him to open. That's the problem. If I go back, so like you can you can swing as fast as you want as long as first of all you should stand a little bit further back. You should stand like right here and just by the way to to make it easier you don't actually have to move once you stand in the right spot. Like it's okay like okay. just to make it easier for yourself and sometimes i literally do this i'll literally stand in a spot and just let go of wasd so it's easier for me um so i stand here don't move swing as fast as you want because as soon as you see the edit you can just reset this wall and you'll be safe because yeah, yeah. as soon as he edits he has the gun swap delay and so you, as long as you reset fast enough you'll be fine okay and same thing here the only problem here is you are committed to the double swing mentally not ready for him editing so when he did this, you were not ready to reset. Like, so here's the question. Can he shoot right now? Yeah, of course. No, he can't. Why not? Why not? Because he's pulling yeah, out his yeah. gun. Yeah. yeah. So that means you have a window of time to actually reset this ball. That's my point, right? It's that, that like, now he can shoot. N not even. Like, like very, very slowly, like, yeah, to, yeah. he has to pull out his gun, right? And that's the animation. So you have time. You can literally stare at him for like half a second and then he shoots. So as long as you're mentally ready, because resets are instant, right? Resets can happen very, very fast. As long as you're ready, you should be uh, able to reset that wall fast enough. So that's the key. That's what I would recommend. Is when you're double swinging, 
just be mentally ready to to react with the reset and it is possible especially if you play on your own region and your ping is decent you should be able to do it because in box fights and i'm washed i do it all the time and so pro players do it even more than i do so that's the key don't trade with him when he edits because he'll shoot first and if he's actually good he could block your shot but he's not yeah he needs to i mean it, it's a really hard actually which way did he flip his ramp because it was such an easy uh it's such an easy uh, block yeah, yeah yeah so let's see i already flipped this yeah okay wrong flip this is why he sucks okay so <laughs> so if he if he uh if he flips his his ramp instead of this way if he flips it this way like from here to there then he actually yeah, yeah. has a reset oh, yeah. right yeah. so that's really important he he messed up if he does that then you don't actually end up trading back with him your instinct or your reaction to him editing would pull out my shotgun what i'm recommending is reset wall hold because he's going to break it by shooting and then as soon as you hear the shot and you edit shoot yeah, yeah. right but because if you uh if you just pull out your pump you're walking into the situation that you want to avoid which is trading damage because if he plays it properly you will never get the shot off if he, you, you happen to shoot after him like well after him because of his mistake and he didn't set up his ramp properly then you you were able to do damage my point is if he's a better player you never get that damage off on him that's all yeah okay good if you guys have questions let me know about that whole situation yeah yeah now that was a small section by the way there were other mistakes too but they were very similar to what i was pointing out so the the general guidelines are find good angles right eliminate like find yeah. the right angles first like you use the angles where you have an advantage and and just take those pieces limit their space by uh, by um taking the the boxes that they're they have access to right so the the box that i recommended was really good because you have a right hand on it and then once you get him out of that box he no longer has a right hand on the other floor that you were working on on the left so that that would be really good because he can't stand in that box then uh and then that whole situation was one small part of it but if both of you play the way i suggested which is take pieces but be ready to reset then you will be much better off in that fight overall uh okay so what do we think is the issue main thing like what should we focus on the most two things that i see so play smart aggressive what i what i mean is don't just don't just pick a team and fight check if they're aware like start aggressing on them if they're not aware continue if they are aware you can choose to back up if you want to that's it because it, it, theoretically if you follow that to a t where you know when to back up if they notice then you'll never die that's one mistake play a little bit more aggressive second mistake that contributed to two to three games of uh six twelves and shit was someone's dying before moving okay and that's something that you need to fix and yes it's it, it happens to be because of various different reasons but it needs to be fixed regardless i'm, yeah. I'm naming an issue not the reason it happens i mean we discussed the reason it happened so one game it was because someone snuck up on your height another game it was because of a side jump and another game etc 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 okay but yeah, yeah. if you fix that you'll solve several games where you had to solo clutch where you didn't necessarily have to like it was very easy to fix all you have to do is fix that one mistake that caused that death and it should be pretty easy to be consistent as a duo solo clutch should be a uh, backup option not a uh, a plan okay so it's that solo clutch yeah. should come because something messed up you're trying to you're trying to fix the game because you already messed up but if you just fix the mistake from the beginning then you won't have to solo clutch at all we'll, we'll do it like this right so you'll ask all the questions in, at once right and then um yeah, what yeah. i want you to do is I'll, like i'll write it down right and then i'll i'll, I'll uh, answer them one by one we'll, we'll do it that uh -huh. way uh-huh okay okay first, first question is, is yep um if, if late, late game, game arena is in game, game yep is there, is there any, any uh, big, big advantage, advantage you can get out of game late game arena, arena or yeah so how should you practice it optimally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay continue exactly then, then second, second question is loadout, loadout. If, if you find, find a golden pistol, pistol is it worth to carry, carry uh in your in your mp slot, slot or AR, yeah. AR slot yeah i hear you go on then then uh, the third, third is, is um, um if we if, we, if i'm in a custom, a custom or a round, a round cash, cash cup a, a, i'm rotating, I'm rotating like, like more i don't i don't have, have any plan, plan of, of rotates i'm doing it, doing it like, like would i say, would I say that, that um you're kind of freestyling it 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Freestyling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Okay, so freestyling. Okay, should so this I, be so I have a clue all? how to rotate yeah. properly? Yeah. In a, in a bit, but, but I don't. I don't know, know uh, uh, what to, what to uh, uh, look out for. So. Got you. Got you. Okay. Next question. Uh, that's, um, that's it, okay. Yeah, it's Good, easy. yeah. No, no, I have another yeah, question. Yeah, you have, you have go on. Um, um, I, don't I don't know really how to explain it, but sometimes in a fight, I, I don't, don't really get in a fight, I just get some trades and not really good damage, and, and I, don't I don't see the win of the fight. fight. You know what I mean? Uh, I only take like um, trades, like 50 50, and we both heal, and it's I see. Not, not yeah, yeah, yeah. Big happening. So only trading equal damage? Can't find the opening to start winning. And, and like you'll never do like a hundred, and they do yeah, like yeah, twenty yeah. to you. Like you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah I hear you. So uh, yeah, th that is actually really easy to fix. But let's keep going. Uh, do you okay, have other okay. questions? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. One. Okay. And, and, and solos, solos. If I have three medkits med or one uh, uh, medness, what, what should I carry? Three medkits versus one medness. Got you. So okay. Solos. One, in solos. One, in solos. one in solos. Yeah, and only in solos. I got you. So I'll, I'll screen share just so you guys can see my uh, notepad here. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And we'll talk about it, okay? So, answers? Yeah. Okay, so we'll talk about uh, all questions in detail. So, first thing is if Lake Game Arena is released, how should you practice it optimally? Uh, so obviously the first thing that I would do, um, if possible, like let's say your duo is on, then I would I would absolutely play with your duo. Um, in my personal opinion, there will be some areas where you can actually just improve from synergy, right? Like you'll you'll get more and more comfortable with your duo. Like if you asked me right now, do I think both of you guys are uh, as comfortable as possible with each other? Uh, I would say no. I, I think most people can uh, like most people have room to improve with their duo um, in terms of comms in terms of uh like the way i like to think about it is there are some duos in the world and i've i've personally experienced this um where you don't even need to communicate something because you both know what to do and you both know that the your your teammate is going to follow up on it does that make sense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like you're so comfortable with each other that it's almost telepathic where you you know something like you've you've seen this situation before maybe it was in a scrim or like some 2v2 and you you both know exactly what you need to do so i would say play so first thing is uh play with duo uh when possible uh and the other thing is this this is what i would do you need to push as many people as possible to create uh like problems like create engagements create uh, action do not just play for end game however it's sort of like a um it's sort of like a, a a meter like you should not push all the way to the point where you die push as hard as possible without dying okay so for that that's different for some people so if, if, if you're not a complete pro player you can't just like suicide push like you can't just push like really really hard you kind of need to push maybe uh, uh, uh like with some leeway okay it's just to make sure you don't die um and you know if you're really 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 good at fighting then yes absolutely you can just push all the way and you'll be fine um so that is a thing so i would say push aggressively because it's lake in marina and you have nothing to lose so it's okay to make mistakes here and you should you should encourage yourself to make mistakes that's the thing that i would uh, suggest okay push aggressively okay. but do your absolute best to not die okay this will help you uh play proactively in an end game and help you trying to understand like how hard can we push without dying and then once you know what level that is then you can sort of do the same thing in a real game Right? Because you'll learn like, oh, if I just jump in this guy's box without doing any damage, it doesn't work. Okay, cool. Now that I know that, I won't do it anymore. Right? It's so much better to die several times trying and then pull back rather than not push anyone at all and then learn nothing. Right? So that's what I would recommend. Just push a lot because there's nothing to lose in Lake Marina. Okay? Next thing is yes. um, uh, time, not necessarily time your fights, but uh, encourage yourself to end a fight fast when you have an advantage okay so let's say you don't have an advantage let's say you're fighting someone and there's no damage dealt there's nothing crazy no advantage whatsoever i don't expect you to end that end that fight in 30 seconds because they can just be weird and never peek you or like just never open and, and things like that so uh, it's okay if it takes long if you don't have an advantage however if one of you crack the other guy for free and you don't take any damage then yes you should be pushing really hard and, and trying to end that fight quickly because other people will also hear that sheer crack and they'll they'll be interested they'll, they'll want to 
take part in the fight so that's the key thing is is try time almost time your fights like not literally but like make sure you end it quickly when you do find that opening okay because mm -hmm. in general with fighting that is a good habit to to encourage yourself to do is to end it quickly um and in general overall like with lake marina is understand you have nothing to lose so don't worry about doing crazy things it's not a waste of time um so try to do as many crazy things as possible learn what doesn't work and then remove that from your options okay because then you'll essentially you'll push as hard as possible in a real game without dying that's that's the most effective place to be in my personal opinion yeah, and you'll, yeah. you'll you'll essentially learn what options you have and what op what options are out of bounds that's what you want to do okay next question if you have a golden pistol is it worth to carry in my personal opinion the only situation where that's worth to carry is i'm sure you understand the the scenario where if you have a uh, aug and then in smg in a duel the reason why you hold that in the first place is because you guys can exclusively have different ammo types you technically have more ammo um so in duos i would do that if you don't have an smg but you have an like ar or maybe double ar because then one person can hold golden golden pistol and then use light light ammo in solos i don't think so i think smg is just straight up better so that's okay. my that's my thing so if you have aug smg or it, that those sort of guns already then just hold those those are just better in my personal opinion and also, I mean, there is a preference thing. So if you find yourself being good with the golden pistol and you really, really, really like it for some reason, then sure, you don't have to listen to me. But um, my personal opinion is it's not it's not that good compared to the loadout options that we have. Number three, <clears throat> if you're in a custom or a cash cup round and you don't have a plan for rotate, so you're freestyling. Okay, so here's the thing about rotates. You should have some initial plan, but you, I, I'm sure you'll recognize it, but sometimes you'll have situations where you can't see further ahead. So I'll, I'll draw a picture just so you understand. Okay. So if I show you this, let's say this is this, the current zone like this. Okay. And then you're, this is fourth zone. Let's say this is fourth zone. And then half half shows right here, but you're, you're currently right here. Okay. But let's say there's enemy boxes. Like let's say there's a two boxes right here, a duo. Yeah. yeah. And, and you can't see, like, this is all you can see. And you can't, you don't know what's over here. I don't blame you for freestyling. You have to. You can't see any anything back here. So you, how are you supposed to plan? The only thing you can plan for is should I go this way or should I go this way? Right? And so sometimes there is no other thing. To, like, you have to freestyle. And the other type of rotate that I'll mention is earlier. Okay? So let's say this is the map. Like all the way out. Okay? This is the map. And obviously there's water on the edges and whatnot. But let's say you land currently right here. And zone pulls down here. There is some initial plan. You should have a rough structure, a loose structure of where you want to go. So let's say um, this is the, you know, the tempo in the top right of the map. Yeah. yeah. And then this is like um, Beagle. So let's say this is the yeah. case. It, the, the rough structure should quite literally be like, hey, I'm going to go this way first. I'm going to go under Misty. And I'm going to, or not Misty, but what's the place you're sleeping? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go under Sleepy Sounds and I'm going to go this way. And then this way. And then this is um, Coney. This is a rough structure. The reason I say have a rough structure and not a very, very concrete structure is because plans change. Fortnite is very much a game where you cannot plan out from zone one to zone nine. You can't. You have to react to what's happening in front of you. So let's say I, I, I do my plan and then Bugle starts coming out. Do I still do I still do my plan? No, I don't. I don't. I need to stop here. Let, maybe I let Bugle pass and then I go this way. Maybe through Sleepy. <laughs> Maybe because I see no one in Sleepy. So that's the thing. Collect information while you're rotating and change your plan accordingly. And that's why IGL is such a hard job is because you can't just sort of... It's not chess. You can't plan from the beginning um, and be like, oh, this is what I'm going to do. Because things change. Plans change. Some people are dumb and they don't do the thing that you expect them to do. And sometimes there's new information that you have to account for. Maybe as you're passing by Sleepy, you see a perfect third, op third party opportunity because they're very like all inviting and and you see the opportunity okay and let's screw this rotate and let's do it right and then think about what happens after you get that fight hey now we have 400 surge and we're we're late for zone what does that mean for a rotate that probably means we should just go dead side and just go like this right so like that's the point it's, it's very intuitive it's very in the moment because in the moment allows you to take in information and change your decisions if need be okay and i think that's the most important thing about fortnite is realize that you can't plan for everything so a lot of people do the thing where they um let's say they land temple 
uh, and they have these surge routes. Okay, if zone shows here, zone shows here, zone shows here, zone shows here, and zone shows in the middle. What are my plans for those five scenarios? That's okay, because as long as there's rough structures, you should be fine. Okay, as long as they're very uh, loose planned. Okay, because you should be able, you should you should be allowed to change if needed, uh, and so that's the key thing in my personal opinion. I don't think it's wrong to plan for this because a lot of teams do this, um, as long as you understand that they should not be concrete. Okay, next question. Any questions about that one? No. No. Okay. Cool. 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 Only trading equal damage can't find the opening to start winning. You know what this means, right? This means yeah, you yeah. and your opponent are equally good at peaks and and aiming. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to get into situations where you're winning more often. Uh, you need to get better at fighting. That's quite literally the only thing. And yeah, yeah. when I say fighting, if you want me to be more specific, because fighting is a very broad term, uh, peaks and aim. Because sometimes you'll hit him for 20, but their head was exposed too. And you could have yeah, hit him yeah. for 150. So, you know, like, it, and and because I watch, like, pretty high level people, like, I watch Donnie's, like, I literally live coached him yesterday, and, and, and in general, I watch people like this. I know it's possible to hit 150 consistently. And so that is an option, right? So you practice, right. like, because it's very difficult for me to give advice for this one, other than get better at fighting, because fighting is very instinctual. It's very mechanical, right? I can't be like, um, uh, even though it, it, it kind of sucks in terms of advice, like, oh, aim better. It, it's just the truth. Like, that is the only answer. There is no other, like, ne strategy necessarily to actually do more damage. You have to peak better, you have to aim better. And peaking and aiming usually is just a... Um, instinctual thing okay um in solos three med kits versus one med mist in my personal opinion i believe med mist is better because let's say you have three med kits the only application i can sort of see for med kits being better is if you take 90 white damage several times in a row and that in itself is like unlikely like that's so unlikely right so like if you maybe take some white damage you can just use your med mist it's a very efficient item because you only use up um let's say 30 30 uh, charges from the madness instead of you know 100 from the medkit yeah, yeah. so like it's just i just think medkit madness is better and it has better applications in end game so I, that's what i would hold if you have the option okay 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 the uh, madness uh take in info as you go it rotates and be freestyled uh, and then the last one is ultimately need to get better at peaks. You like, do you genuinely practice box fights slash box fight realistics every single day? No, no, no I, just I just play realistic uh, uh, 2v2s often. That's, that's not that bad. Fun. Okay, so that's not that bad. Uh, yeah, realistic yeah, 2v2s. Yeah. Um, but here's the thing a lot of people can practice those sorts of things. But essentially, if you practice those sorts of things and then accept the fact that like you're taking a lot of damage and then just move on, like maybe you're not trying hard enough to, to take less damage in those sort of things. Yeah. Maybe you're just playing, right? And people do that all the time. They just play. And I do that too. Like, but I don't think it's right. I think it's better to actually focus on trying to take less damage, do more. You'll, because let's say you do autopilot, you're probably playing the exact same way you do in game. Right, and so you're not yeah. changing anything. So nothing, nothing's gonna change. You're just gonna keep taking damage as you complained about before, right? And so the thing is, if you actively think about, you know, trying to not take damage in those two v two realistics, yes, it takes more mental effort, and yes, it's draining, but it's very important. Uh, you'll you'll find yourself trying to take less damage in the fight itself, in the practice, and then you'll practice in the better way. You're practicing to change yeah. your your habits. So maybe you'll start realizing, hey, it's because when I do peak, I overstep. I'm, I'm maybe i'm over yeah, yeah. too hard maybe that's a problem i don't know uh, or maybe i'm peaking uh like way too often when i can see them looking at me maybe i should go for peaks more often when my teammates had their attention and so uh, then i can shoot them in the back yeah, of the head yeah, yeah. right things like that that those those minor details is literally the, all the difference and but the only way you'll ever catch them or notice them is if you go into the practice with the mentality of trying to fix that issue right yeah. or trying to fix the trading equal damage but yeah, so I'm glad you recognize the issue of, um, you know, doing 100 and taking 100. Like, it doesn't yeah, actually yeah. do much unless your teammate's very close to finish that uh, 100 guy. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm glad you recognize the issue because a lot of people think like, oh, 
in a 2v2, if I do damage and take damage, I definitely did something good. Like, no, nothing really happened. Because now you're out of the fight and so is the enemy. But hey, it's sort of net neutral. Nothing crazy. You did nothing crazy. That's how I see about it. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you, you recognize the issue. So um, do you guys have any questions overall before we move on? Okay.